In this video, I'm going to talk about nine work from home jobs that are actually easy, both easy to do as well as to land. And these are jobs that don't require any college degree or previous experience. Now I'm going to go over what these jobs are, what you'd be doing on a day to day basis in these jobs, the pros and cons, how to get into them. And I'm going to be giving you actual job postings so that you can apply for them. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. Now, the first one on this list is going to be a career you probably don't hear about all that often, and that's going to be an administrative assistant. So basically, you're going to be providing essential support, filing invoices, managing schedules, and handling correspondence. I'm going to have my hands full here. And by the way, Starbucks has a job opening that closes this week, so you can go ahead and apply as an administrative assistant. Simply go to their career page and search the job title. For this position, you'll need to have the following traits. While most admin assistant roles are easy, this one might be a little less easy with some of these responsibilities. But if you land this role, it will be a great addition to your remote career portfolio. Nice. So some of the skills you need for this one are, of course, excellent organization skills, attention to detail, strong communication skills, and the ability to adapt quickly. And this is another one where you just need the basics of having a computer and an internet connection. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. By the way, guys, I've been collecting data on exactly what works on YouTube over the last few years. And that's why I've been able to get to this channel to six figures per month. And I've been able to help a bunch of other people get their channels to six figures a month as well. Or in some cases, they're just making a full-time income. And I'm actually going to be doing a live training. It's completely free. It's a live training. It's going to be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a virtual vacation booker. And this is a position that's hired by independent travel agencies and contractors to curate travel itineraries, manage bookings, and ensure seamless travel experiences for clients. So you're basically like an assistant travel agent. And since the world has opened up, the travel industry has been absolutely absolutely booming. People such as myself realize that travel is something that's not necessarily always going to be there. And in many cases, you need to take advantage of it while you still can, because this is one of the only times in all of human history where you can literally see the entire world. And vacation planners make about 52 to $81,000 a year. Now, typically, if you started off as an assistant, you would be making on the lower side of that range, but you can build your way up into making more and more money. And you can even get to the six figure level. Some of the skills or qualifications you need for this position are good communication skills, proficiency in travel booking platforms. So if you're someone who likes to travel or you like to plan vacations, this might be a perfect role for you. A passion for travel helps, good customer service skills, and the ability to work independently and manage multiple tasks. Some ways you could get started with this is simply by consuming yes. a bunch of content on travel blogs and YouTube. Then you can learn about popular destinations, hidden gyms, and travel logistics. You can also take online courses and certifications in travel booking or tourism management, such as the IATA, the Oxford Home Study Center, and and Allison. Then you can connect with established travel agents on LinkedIn, express your passion for travel and the fact that you want to get started. You can also volunteer to work for free at a local travel agency just to get some experience. And then you can search virtual travel booker or remote vacation specialist positions and apply to them. Here's some positions. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. Now, some of the pros of this one are you have an opportunity to learn about different destinations and travel experiences. You have uncapped income potential because it's based on performance in many cases, and you could be a part of a dynamic and ever changing industry. Some of the cons are it's commission based. So if you don't do a good job, then chances are you're not going to make much money. It also requires strong self discipline and time management skills. And it may involve irregular hours because clients, you know, might be on the other side of the world. So you might have to wake up at weird times or just be available at weird times in general. But overall, I really like this one, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of traveling, there is a bunch of travel related YouTube channels. And some of these guys are making a ton of money. And if you want to know exactly how you can start your very own own YouTube channel and make a full time income from it. I actually do coach several people per month. It's very limited the amount of people I can coach just because I need to spend a lot of one on one time with them. But if you think you're a good candidate, you can apply by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be an online task contributor. And in this position, you'd be playing a vital role in making sure that search engines deliver the most accurate and precise results. You want the results to be reliable and relevant. And major search engine companies hire tons of people to do these these types of positions. And they basically evaluate content to address its relevance as well as how accurate it is. And this person, for instance, thrived in this role. And she says it took her a year of experience to sharpen her skills. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 42 to $78,000 a year. 
Now, some of the skills and qualifications you're going to need for this are strong written and verbal communication skills, excellent attention to detail, and the ability to follow instructions and learn new concepts. It's relatively easy to land this job. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros of this are you get to be a part of improving the online search experience. You have an opportunity to learn about different web content, and there's potential for long-term employment. Some of the cons are the task can be very repetitive, and it may require occasional quality assurance checks. Overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7 out of 10. Next is going to be a position in aftermarket auto parts live chat sales. So this is basically a position where someone wants an aftermarket auto part for their car. They want to make some kind of modification to it. And they go to a website and they chat with someone to see if they have the right stuff. Now, in many cases, there's not an exact thing that they need. But if you're really good at this position and you understand cars, you can actually point them in the right direction. So this is a great position if you're into cars. So if you're someone who's into cars already, this could be a no brainer for you. Here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, the pros of this one are the flexibility and the opportunity to engage with fellow car enthusiasts. Some of the cons of this one are the possibility for commission based pay and you do have to have extensive knowledge of cars. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next is going to be a sales development representative. Now this is one of my absolute favorite entry level jobs. Basically, you are in sales, but it's not a pushy type of sales because you're typically working for wow. B2B businesses. So that's businesses that have products and services for other businesses. And the focus is not on being a sketchy car salesman and trying to get somebody to buy as quickly as possible, but more on forming relationships and making sure that your product solves the problems that the other businesses have. And on top of it, you're not usually responsible for closing the person, right? You're not responsible for closing the deal. You're mostly responsible for reaching out to them initially and maintaining contact. And then someone else is responsible for actually closing the deal, but you still get paid based on commission. So this is an incredible incredibly good entry level sales job to get into. And I've said this a million times, I think everybody should do at least one sales job in their life. Here's a really cool video of this guy talking about a day in the life of being an SDR. And in this position, you can make 87 to $142,000 a year. Here's some positions. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And I've interviewed a ton of people on this channel that have actually gotten into this career and they didn't have previous experience. In many cases, they didn't have a college degree or if they didn't have a college degree, it had nothing to do with the career and they didn't need it to get into it. And they all got into this through the company Course Careers. And Course Careers has a free training where they're gonna tell you all about what SDR is, whether or not it's a good opportunity for you, whether it's a good fit for your personality and exactly how to get into it. And you can check out that free training by clicking the link down in the description or the pinned comment below. So yeah, this one, absolutely love it. Just love everything about it. I'm gonna give this one a perfect 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a speak right typist. And in this position, you're kind of like a linguistic interpreter, translating the spoken word into a written narrative. So basically you're gonna be transforming audio and video into polished documents across various different industries, such as medicine, law, and academia. Now, an interesting fact about this is way back in ancient times in the city of Alexandria, the museums of Alexandria had to manually copy transcripts. So it would literally take probably hundreds of hours to copy a single transcript. In the modern world, it's much faster. And that's exactly exactly what you'd be doing here. So in this position, you'd make about thirty-nine dollars to $64,000 a year. Some of the skills and qualifications you're going to need are fast typing speed, minimum 60 words per minute, strong attention to detail, familiarity with transcription tools and software, and excellent listening comprehension. A way to get started with this is taking online transcription courses. Many of them are free or very affordable. Then you just build your portfolio up a little bit, do one or two projects for free, and then you're good to go from there. Some of the pros here are you get to work in many different industries, so it could be a good way to get your foot in in the door in the legal industry or the healthcare industry, etc. And there is potential for career growth and specialization down the line. Some of the cons are you probably don't want to do this for the rest of your life because it's really tedious and it could probably get pretty boring. And also because of the fact that you're typing a lot, there is a very sedentary nature of the job. But overall, this is a pretty solid one to get into. Millions and millions of people are employed as transcriptionists. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a remote data entry analyst. And this is where you'd be organizing and inputting data into digital systems, ensuring accuracy and efficiency. So you're almost like a digital data janitor sweeping away data inconsistencies and errors so information systems are spotless. Now, data is the lifeblood of many businesses. It's more valuable than oil or gold. And that's why there are so many data-related jobs. And in this position, you'd expect to make about forty-three dollars to $60,000 a year. So some of the skills and proficiencies that you would need for this are a strong attention to detail and accuracy, excellent typing skills, 
the ability to follow instructions, and basic computer literacy. It honestly doesn't take much to start in a position like this. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. But yeah, overall data entry, not the most glamorous job probably don't want to do it for the rest of your life, but you do have an opportunity to learn new software programs. It can be a good way to get your foot in the door in the data industry, which there will be better jobs down the line. Some of the cons are it can be repetitive work. It does require strong attention to detail and focus, and there's limited interactions with colleagues. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next is a social services help desk member. In this position, you'd be hired by government agencies or nonprofits to answer questions, provide information, and connect people with resources sources from social service agencies. So you're kind of like a navigational North Star that offers clear direction and guidance to individuals seeking help from these social service agencies. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 47 to $75,000 a year. So this would be especially good for someone who's already very involved in their community. And some of the skills and qualifications that you'd need for this are, of course, good communication skills, active listening skills, the ability to research and problem solve, a patience and passion for helping others, and basic computer literacy. A good way to get started with this is to simply just volunteer for a local organization just to get some experience, then research local social programs, familiarize yourself with community resources, and then start applying to jobs. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros of this one are you get to make a positive impact on the lives of others. It can be a meaningful and rewarding career path, and it can be a stable work environment. Some of the cons are it can be emotionally draining at times, and it may involve some evenings or weekend hours. But overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is one of my favorite jobs slash side hustles slash freelance work slash you could even start your own business type of things, and that is being a private online tutor. So chances are you are good at something in your life, right? Maybe you scored really good on the ACT or the SAT in high school, or maybe you just happen to be good at math or chemistry or English or chess or organization. You're probably good at something just based off of your life circumstances. Well, with these skills that you already have, you can become a private online tutor. And there are many different things that you can tutor people in. For instance, you could literally tutor people on how to speak and write in English. And this is especially good if you're multilingual. So online tutors make about forty-three dollars to $72,000 a year, and you can actually make much more than that. I remember in college, I actually tutored people in this test called the PCAT, and this was basically the pharmacy college admissions test because I studied really hard for it and I scored pretty well. And I was charging over $100 an hour in college. So you can definitely make money doing this. And the more niche you get, the better. Here are some opportunities and different websites that you can start doing this with. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, some of the pros of this one are your ability to share your knowledge that you already have and make a positive impact impact. You also get to set your own schedule and there is potential for good income depending on the niche that you pick. Cons is it does require strong communication skills and you have to have the ability to motivate people. Your income can also vary depending on student demand and it may require evening or weekend hours in order to accommodate your students. But with that being said, I do really like this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Can I have one more? Next is going to be a data contributor. And these professionals are typically hired by data collection and analysis companies to take and submit photos on various topics for research and development processes. So basically you're taking photos and then you're labeling them correctly, or you're taking photos that are already taken and then you are going to be labeling them with the correct data so that it's easier for AI to read it. And data contributors play a vital role in AI development. And in this position, you get to see your everyday experiences contribute to a larger cause, the advancement of AI. Now, according to TransPerfect, you'll be paid $1 for each accepted photo. So this can just be a gig and not a full-time job. So some of these skills or qualifications that you would need is of course, access to an iPhone, iPad, or computer, the ability to take clear and well-lit photos and basic attention to detail. So a pro of this one is it's an easy and flexible way to earn income. Another pro is that you're getting into an industry that is booming right now. And even though it is an entry-level job, it doesn't pay the most, it can lead to much higher paying jobs down the line. Some of the cons here are some of the work is is freelance, there is limited earning potential, and it can be relatively repetitive. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. And by the way, you can work from home or work remote worldwide with these opportunities that I go over in this video right here.